Yo, it's Guido coming at you with a quick tip. Let's let's talk the old hatch sniping act. Hold down. You can see that I'm about to take a shot on an A phase one. I'm in my stir of K. Both of these have fantastic turrets. I do have a hatch right there that is vulnerable, although it's not super easy to hit. And you will notice that he has one as soon as I start showing you this. I got here first. This gives me an advantage. And we can also talk a little bit about hit point management and that kind of thing right here. Initially, we both have more or less the same hit points, but he's got about 130 more than I do. But I'm going to get a free shot, so that's going to give me an early advantage right there. Plus, he eats another shot. So he's down to 1189. Show you what I'm doing. And he lines up right here. All right. When you get into these hold down situations and you're playing the hatch, pokey, peaky shot, sniping thing, you need to make sure that it's difficult for them to hit your hatch. And your reload matters at the same time as well. It turns out I have just a slightly faster reload uh, or maybe even close to his reload but I happen to be shooting first so just watch how this goes down right I'm waiting for my reload he's gonna come in moves a little bit and then he stops to try to get a shot onto my hatch so he's done a nice job actually by going ahead and getting, getting up on a little angle right there so he kinda kinda drives up on an angle what that does and you can see it right there. It makes it much di more difficult for me to hit the hatch. There's a, sli a, a smaller slice of hatch that I can hit and get a green marker on. Now, I'm going to get the shot on that. And then, boom. Notice when I, as soon as I shot, I started moving. Right? And I don't think he really understood at that point where we were in terms of reload and such. He, he should now, though. All right? He should now. So let's see how that goes down from here. He's not moving, so I'm going to accept it. And what I'm betting on right here is that my reload is faster or because I shot first, it's fast enough that I'm going to get a shot first before him and then I'm going to move. All right. You know what? To be honest, I don't know if he just bounced or if I moved in time, but I do know I fired first. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. It's working. All right. If I were him after about the second time that happened, when I was sitting at 800 hit points, I'd have been moving. All right, he's already down hit points, and this is the hit point management portion of this tactics tip. He's already losing, so he doesn't want to sit there and let me fully aim in and take a shot on his hatch. He's unable to get inside my reload cycle. He's already That's already been proven twice, so there's no reason to. What he really wants to do is to scooch around get me to fire at him bounce or miss because he's moving and then look to aim in on my hatch then it's his turn to be fully aimed but he's got to force a miss first so far he hasn't done that he's sat there and eaten two or three shots in a row yes he's aiming in on me but i'm getting the shot first and i happen to be hitting so there's the rng with dispersion piece right there that's slash rng for the pen blah 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 that is allowing me to to get the shots in and he's getting some bounces and to be honest I don't know if he's actually looking at my turret do I have any looks like he is trying to right you can see the dings right there where he's just getting a bit unlucky in that or maybe he just doesn't have really good gun handling on his crew or his, his equipment setup wherever the case may be right there so he's getting a bit unlucky as well as he's not fighting it very well so let's see what he does this time looks like he might want to try to get out He's thinking about it. He's moving. I'm like, oh, he's he's learned. He's going to move. And then I go, I guess not. All right. So really his best move there, guys, at, at least, you know, as he's looking at back and forth. But if he can put some angle on it, so then you have some left and right. Now, he does not want to come out. He does not want to come out from behind the, the cover. It's hard to see because of where I am. He doesn't want to, you know, stick his butt end out here and give me a shot on his side. But if he can, if he can actually turn a little bit and get a little bit of left and right, or right to left momentum or movement, some line of sight to make me have to track it, even just a little bit, is going to throw off a well-aimed shot going after the hatchet. That's a much more difficult shot. But just sitting there and going, well, I hope he uh, I hope he misses. Hope is not a great plan of action. So he's in trouble now. He's down to 158. Now notice I'm moving back and forth. See, this is what I'm talking about. I know he's reloaded, right? In this situation... I know he's reloaded and he's waiting to try to get his shot. So I'm not going to sit there while I'm reloading or while I think he might be aiming in and trying to get a shot and just let him get a nice easy shot. So I'm going to actually roll, move back and forth until about ready to reload. All right. And I'll just wait. Is he going to sneak it in? There we go. So he did another nice job actually coming up on the rubble and trying to make the shot more difficult. But he scooted back a little bit, I think probably for uh, gun depression reasons to get a shot on me. And that just gave me enough of the hatch, and I end up closing that guy out. So 
those are definitely some things in there to think about when you're taking on somebody with the old hatch sniping or weak spot sniping tends to mostly be hatch stuff for what we're talking about right there unable for either one of us to shoot into the hole it's purely all hatch you want to try to bait the shot make them miss that requires you to move a little bit and then you can aim in and you have the advantage on the next shot right so really what you should have seen there was a lot of us doing this back and forth back and forth back and forth and it would have should have been a lot more chancy shots on each other's hatch vice letting me just aim in every single time with an easy shot especially on that last one instead of carving up and going well i hope he doesn't get me on that last shot i'd have been moving back and forth trying to bait a shot and then get in there with a nice aimed shot on my hatch right there all right guys so there you go something to think about when you're hold down and you're trying to snipe hatches that's all i've got for today we will see ya